It's a lot of traffic. That's a lot of traffic. A lot of nitrogen, too. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about tonight? I can only Do you know imagine. why I'm talking nitrogen? Because it's, I don't know, so green outside, you're... So how does this happen? Tell me how... I'm, Beats I'm not me. Kidding. You're the scientist. No, I thought, I thought maybe you've been cheating and looking at my notes that I have over here. What notes? Well, there's just the graphic. So oh, let me okay. show you this. The world's greatest weather producer, Jason Joseph. Take a look at this. Let me show you what Jason did. I said, I need you to take some pictures. I said, has it gotten green at your place? He goes... He oh, goes, yeah. it's, it's pretty remarkable. Just in the last like 24 hours, I, I walk outside and it's really, really green. And he asked me the same thing, Cynthia. He said, Pete, do you know why? And I said, Jason, please don't embarrass yourself. Of course I know why. You know, Captain Awesome has been talking about this too, Pete. That it's green outside? Yes. Well, Captain Awesome, here I am. I'm, I'm <laughs> the guy that has, look at this. This is Jason's yard. I see a few weeds in there, Jason. You might need to Work on that a little bit, but it is green outside right now where Jason lives. So, so what's going on with that? You know, and, and I was talking to my mom the other day. She goes, I just love it when it rains because it just turns everything green. I said, well, mom, it's not just the rain. It's the lightning. The lightning helps to fertilize our grass because lightning has nitrogen. That's what's in the atmosphere. That nitrogen that makes up 78% of our atmosphere. And nitrogen consists of these two tightly bonded nitrogen atoms. And the energy from the lightning actually splits those nitrogen atoms apart and it leaves two separate atoms. And then that just falls into the ground. So those atoms just fall from the air once the lightning takes place, it falls from the air to the soil, and that provides, that's his mother nature's fertilizer. It's great, and it's happened all across the area. We had, you know, what was it? What's today is Tuesday, so yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday, right? I'm losing track of days. Sunday, Sunday night, Lee tells me. Monday morning, Monday morning. Sunday night, Monday morning. Yes, Sunday afternoon, we had some thunderstorms. Monday morning, we had that pretty good round of non-severe thunderstorms, and during that, we had a heck of a lot of lightning across the area, just releasing all the nitrogen into the ground across North Texas. I actually think this is pretty cool when it happens. And it's great, we've really, really noticed it, especially when things start to dry out, then boom, all of a sudden, we have the lightning, we have the thunder, and we certainly have some rain, and then things turn green, and that's what's taking place. Hey, tomorrow, first day of school in Decatur, Decatur ISD, Ponder ISD, Chico ISD, Bowie ISD, and many others. I, I featured a number of other ISDs at 5 and 6 p.m., and tonight we're doing these four, okay? 75 degrees at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 91 at noon, and then 96 at 4 p.m. It'll be hot day tomorrow. The normal high is 96. We'll be right around maybe a degree or so cooler than normal. But overall, today we hit 91. 91 degrees today. 91, 92 in a number of locations. So five, six degrees cooler than normal today. Still on the warm side, but not bad. Clear skies tonight. 75, that's low tonight in Dallas, 74 in Fort Worth, 74 in Sherman, 74 in Corsicana, the same thing in Mineral Wells, and also in Granbury. Highs tomorrow, the normal's 97. We'll be right there in that ballpark, give or take a degree or so across the area. Fort Worth's 98, 94 in Bonham, 97 in Canton, also in Athens. The same thing in Mineral Wells, 99 in Graham. Dallas hits 97 and 95 in McKinney. My forecast in detail for tonight, mostly clear. Warm and humid tonight, but it'll be dry tonight. I have nothing more than maybe a passing high thin cloud. Light winds, 76, that's a low tonight. During the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine, a hot day, humid day. 97 is my official high, give or take a degree or so across the area. You'll be plus or minus a degree of normal tomorrow. Heat index 100, maybe 101, maybe up to 102. But a hot day, no matter how you look at it. But not close to record high, but right at the normal level of 97. The normal high of 97, we stay, and that's the hottest normal high that we have throughout the year. It runs through August 14th, beginning August, uh, August 15th. That's when the normal high starts to drop. So as we look at uh, right through Tuesday, August 12, we'll be right around maybe a degree or so above normal. And then as you look at the final seven of the 14 days, I have three days where we may have a stray shower or thunderstorm. But other than that, no triple digit temperatures, some really, really nice weather. Considering that this is typically climatologically the hottest time of the year, this is really, really a nice 14 day forecast. Oh, sporty, you made it to LA. So, what happened? I'm surprised you're up in Oxnard tonight and you're not hanging out with all the beautiful people down in Nobu. Is that where you're going later on, Michelle? No, no, Pete, I missed that trip. And you know what's worse <laughs> is that my dad texted me on my way to the airport this morning and said, jokingly, did you pack your winter coat? And I almost had the car turn around because I forgot to bring my coat. So, luckily, uh, 
WFAA extraordinaire Arnold Payne and I will be ah. hitting up REI after this so I can get a coat, maybe some ski gear, because I would rather be in your climatological 14-day forecast than the cold weather out here.